Last week, we've asked if you believe the Texas Tech Board of Regents is acting in the best interest of the university. A resounding 94% of you said no way. As always, we thank you for sharing. Lubbock Congressman Jody Arrington brought more than 40 leaders from all over the region to Lubbock this week for what they called the West Texas Rural Summit. They were looking at the challenges of infrastructure, health care, and drug abuse at a time when a lot of lawmakers seemed to have forgotten about small town America. KMAX Nicolette Perdomo was there. If we're going to advance policies that support the food, fuel, and fiber production centers like rural West Texas and other places around the country that are big agriculture, energy centers, rural communities, then we've got to be able to work together. Congressman Arrington says he wants to focus on issues faced in small towns like the opioid crisis. We've seen over 40,000 uh, Americans die from drug addiction, drug overdose, a lot of whom were addicted to opioids. And other national organizations joining in on the conversation, providing resources and responding to the opioid crisis. Our core mission is to build prosperity in rural America, and this issue has had a tremendous impact on quality of life and economic opportunity in these places. And they're bringing programs to rural communities. And we have many programs at USDA that really help build economic opportunity and hope in these communities. The Hockley County Sheriff says something needs to be done. We're not going to be able to arrest our way out of uh, some of the drug crises. Um, it's, we're obviously, we're going to have to have an enforcement focus, a very targeted enforcement focus uh, to find these folks who are peddling uh, narcotics in our communities. So we want to have them dealt with. Uh, but we also have the other side of this where you have those who are, are, are have addictions uh, and we want to be able to best uh, treat them as well. Nicolette Perdomo, KMAC News. All right, Nicolette, we'll be back with a final word. It's the Labor Day sale at Furniture Row, where the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks for every thousand you spend store wide. Plus, no interest until 2024. Don't miss the Labor Day sale at Furniture Row. Never stop chasing the story. Be committed to being there on the scene. KMAC News at 6. The